Okay, um, today we're welding with the uh, Miller XMT304 with the uh, Miller Optima Pulse Box. This is a single pulse, not a pulse on pulse. Uh, we're welding, uh, this is a 52-52 aluminum plate. We're going to do a butt weld here that's, that's kind of at an angle. You can see it's not quite uh, corner to corner, but it still doesn't require a whole lot of heat. So the wire size is 0.047, wire type is 5356, uh, Alcotech. Um, so our arc length right now is uh, at 12. We're on program two, and uh, it's uh, set for the 047, 5356 wire. Uh, got my friend Jim here. He's going to do a couple welds for us, and then I'm going to try and put this camera inside my hood so that we can try to get a visual of his welding. All right, go ahead, Jim. Okay, so I probably messed that up a little bit, but uh, I know that we did get some in there where you can kind of see. Um, so this is not like a pulse on pulse machine. This is a little bit older technology uh, and you really have to manually oscillate these types of welds, but it looks pretty darn good. Um, and, and I've mentioned this before that technically this is more of an aesthetic weld. It's not something that, you know, um, would pass any kind of a AWS structural test or anything like that. But um, we'll do one more. Uh, what are we going to do? Corner to corner now? True corner to corner? Yeah. So we had some of this all prepped before the uh, recording so that we could kind of get going on these welds and not bore you guys to death with all that stuff with the prepping but uh there you go those are those are pretty hard welds to do when they're uh, butted like that okay let me get in the position here dude okay there, that's a little better. Okay, go ahead. And the gas is just uh, pure argon. There's no uh, helium or anything like that. Pure argon. Was that setting the same as the uh, vertical? Yeah. And some of you guys probably noticed that we're welding some of these downhand. And uh, again, that's just for aesthetic. So. I know that a lot of people who are into structural get all critical about that. Uh, a lot of times we will go uphand on our welds, but 
for these purposes, we're just going down. I need to test the wire. Alright. He's just finding his wire speed. On the uh, newer pulse on pulse well, well machines, they'll, uh, when you adjust your wire on your gun, a lot of times it adjusts your setting as well. These older machines, you can separate your wire from your arc length. Okay. Some people in the comments have asked us about uh, design, blueprint, stuff like that. Um, so I brought out my blueprint today. I wanted to show you guys kind of our plans for this build. Um, so real quick, I just kind of show you around the boat. Just put some handrails on, pole holders. Um, last video I did say I was going to go with a cast hatch for the uh, outboard bracket, but we just went with one of these little plastic guys here. Um, cast hatches were really expensive and I've welded some of those in and they do tend to crack so rather than spending over a hundred dollars for an access um, we just got one of these little plastic ones that it's easy in easy out you don't need a screwdriver or anything you just you just twist that and, and you can get the access down inside there um, try to grab one we just got some of our seat boxes done and our actual seats. So we still need to get cushions and everything for these, but uh, we've got the essential uh, skeleton here. Um, and we're feeling pretty good about these. We've got some footrests put in and consoles and everything all welded up. Still got this side here that's uh, missing its panel and then uh, eventually I have mentioned that we're going to put a, a, a house or a cabin on top of this and with our, our blueprint here you can get an idea of what we intend to do but we'll have to pull the boat outside to do that and it's a little bit tall right now so Here's our blueprint that we've gone off of. Um, and you can see you got the cabin there. Looking pretty good. We're following pretty close to plan. And, uh, and then we've got the motor in the rendering as well. So hope you guys enjoyed.